What is going on, guys? I uh, I had a very interesting day the other day. I was out doing garage sales, yard sales, estate sales, and we were also uh, stopping at thrift stores. Well, I ended up stopping in this thrift store. Well, the one the thrift store was a consignment shop. That's what it was. But I went in the consignment shop, and I probably browsed for about a good 30 minutes, 40 minutes, something like that, until I came across the very back of the booth and it was like the last dude on the left <laughs> but uh I, I looked through that and it was like a bunch of western memorabilia stuff and I remember there being like just probably six or seven pairs of boots in a glass case so I started looking at them and they all had Texas Rangers like on the actual boot itself and there was a photo included that had the the guy who owned the boots and it said former Texas Ranger it had his name and had his address his phone number and all that on there so I was like wow and I was looking at the prices and the first pair I looked at the price tag said five dollars so I was like that can't be right and I looked at all the other ones and they said five hundred dollars so I was like what so I went and grabbed an associate and I brought her back and I said hey I've got a got a question there's a something I'd like to look at. It's in a glass case, and she's like, "Okay." And she's like, "Is it is it that glass case?" And I was like, "Yeah." And she's like, "That was actually not locked, so you can just grab them." And I was like, "Oh, forehead smack kind of moment." So I grabbed the boots, and she's like, "Oh, those are really nice. How much are those?" And I was like, it "Says five dollars." She's like, "Wow, that's a really good deal." <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Yeah, that is a pretty good deal. I think they're pretty nice." So I brought them up front, and or she brought them up front for me because she was like, "You want me to just take these up front and I'll save them for you?" And I was like, "Yeah, that sounds great. I'll continue shopping." And then I'll talk to my uncle. Sorry, I just took a shower. I'm not trying to pick anything in specific out of my ear. Just you know, a little bit of water residue. But uh, I went and talked to my uncle, and he's like, "Dude, go pay for those, and then just go." <laughs> so I uh, went straight up front, paid for them. And then I came back to talk to my uncle a little bit. And uh, let's get back a little bit. When I went up there, the one lady that, it, that took the boots up there was like, Wow, can you believe how good of a deal these are? Like, look at these boots. And she was talking to the employee standing next to her. And she's like, Whoa, those are pretty nice. And uh, she was like, How much are they? She said, $5. Can you believe that? She's like, That doesn't seem right, but okay. And they rung me up gave me a receipt and I walk off with the boots and I talked to my uncle for a little bit and I was like dude can you believe the freaking luck I just got like I don't know <laughs> like I felt kind of bad but I don't know I didn't at the same time because it was a mistake I paid their asking price and yeah I got the receipt the boots are mine now so I'm standing there probably about 20 minutes or so goes by and the store clerk the one that brought the boots up front for me initially, she comes back and she's like, we're going to need to have those boots back and we'll refund you. And I was like, what, why? And she said, uh, oh, they weren't supposed to be $5. They were supposed to be $500. I was like, well, I've already got the receipt. Like, what do you mean? Like, These are mine now. <laughs> like, I don't know. And then she's like, well, if you would meet me up front. And I was like, okay, give me a minute. And I went and talked to my uncles more, and he's like, dude, you own those boots now. You have the receipt. You paid for them. They're yours. You can either you can either turn them in or you can just leave. Like, it's, it's up to you. I was like, it's a tough decision. Karma kicks in, and I'm, you know, screwed out of this. But I don't know. I, obviously, I left with the boots. <laughs> so, I mean, yeah, these are real nice, actually. And as you can see, they say Texas Ranger on the bottom. And you can see that they're not very, very worn. But yeah, just a really, really nice pair of boots for five bucks. And uh, yeah, I just ended up just walking straight past the lady and went straight to my car, threw the boots in the trunk, got in, started it, and locked the door. She came out and she took a picture of my car. I was like, what are you going to do? Like, I don't even have a license plate on the front. 
my windows are tinted. Like, I don't, I don't know what she was, I don't know what she was getting at there, but yeah, she took a picture of my car. So, uh, I guess long story short, if you were in the same situation, what would you do? Would you, would you buy the boots and keep them? Would you buy the boots and then return them after she asked you to? Because, I mean, technically they're yours now. You own them. I don't know. It's a tough call. Like, it, I guess it differs person to person. If it would have happened at Walmart, I wouldn't have guess. I wouldn't have second guessed it. Like, I'd just been like, oh, holy crap, thanks Walmart, and then gone about my day. But, you know, it's a, it's a consignment shop. So, you know, those are like regular Joe people. But at the same time, I don't know. It's the same concept either way. So, yeah, that was, uh, that's what's been bugging me as of late. I mean, it's not bugging me so much anymore. The boots are mine. I've already got them on eBay. They're mine. <laughs> so, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, they're mine. So, got them listed. But, yeah, leave in the comments if you would have done the same thing in my situation or... If you think I'm totally evil and you would not have done that. I've already posted this on Facebook and I got quite a bit of feedback. Roughly 500 or so comments and then like 200 likes from people that were looking at the Facebook post and they all seem to agree. I would say probably 99% of the people that commented on there was like, yeah dude, they're yours. You did good. <laughs> like, yeah, count your blessings and run. Yeah, get the money and run. But yeah, that's pretty, that's what I did. So, today's been a busy day. Shipped out an Amazon FBA order, about 11 items. Probably about $500 MSRP in that box itself. And, uh, yeah, eBay's a little slow right now, kind of waiting on some sales. I've got, I've got those boots on there now. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I've got probably, I would say 57 items live right now on my eBay account, so not a ton of inventory, you know, but I am keeping them in my car, so you can only do so much on there, but yeah, it's been my day. If you like this video, guys, and you would like to see more stuff like this or, you know, close to this, please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will keep them coming. I've been trying to do at least one video a week. All right, thanks for watching, guys.